Boogie2988. Uh, he is the resident depressed, low self-esteem individual on YouTube. Uh, you probably know him from some of his videos, such as I'm sad because I'm fat. I'm mad because I'm fat. I'm lonely because I'm fat. I'm fat because I'm fat. I'm so fat that I'm fat. Fat, fat, fat. Although I will admit, his Mountain Dew videos were pretty funny. Like, th the fact that this guy literally worked at GameStop and made Mountain Dew videos, you gotta give him some clout for that. And, to be honest with you, I feel like a lot of people have just been bullying this guy as of late and basically making fun of him and, and trying to basically pull the rug from underneath him because he did lose weight. Uh, and they've been hating on him. They've been hating on him. And Boogie's been turning himself around. Like, Boogie really, like, I started looking up to Boogie now where, like, I'm like, yo, low-key, this guy is a gangster. Uh, it started off when he pulled a revolver on him. This dude legit turned into a gunslinger. Like, the good, bad, and ugly, this is Boogie2988's movie. He's gonna pull out the gun and f*** the Mexican standoff rules. You know how, like, you take ten paces backwards and then turn around and shoot? No, no, no. I'm shooting you dead right here, right now. Pull up on my porch, and you're getting shot in the face. So, Boogie is very cool. Uh, he's very uh, rugged. He's very gangster. Um, and it's odd that so many people would bully him. And one thing that I saw recently that I was like, damn, like, yo, what, like, what's going on with these people bullying my boy Boogie298? My mans went on Twitter. He's just sharing with the world that, you know, he gets bitches. He got major pipe game. And he basically said, hey, woman I know, Post Malone follows you on Twitter. Haha, ha, yeah, it got me laid once. Woman I know. It's about to get you laid twice, actually. That's hot. That's that's great. This is on Twitter, and people on Reddit immediately start flaming his ass, and they're, and they're like, this is not true. This shit definitely ain't real. This guy's full of shit. Blah, 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 blee, blee, blee. And what's funny is that he actually deleted a tweet, and listen, no offense to Boogie, but I know he's bitch-made. And I, I'm sorry, bro. I took the screenshot. You know what I mean? I literally saw this and I thought to myself, on God, this guy going to delete this. On God. Like, I literally knew that this guy was going to turn into a big... Like, this dude, like, has the smallest big dick energy. Like, he makes a post where he's like, yeah, bro, we out here. What does he say? I love that my post about the girl I'm dating is at the top of R that happened. She got a kick out of it. So, I... I okay. There's a lot of things going on here, right? Two questions I have. The picture that I'm looking at right now, is this, did, is this, did he have sex just to take this picture and flex on the internet? Or did he just have this picture in his phone? And he's just like, here, I want to show this beautiful image of two morbidly obese people. I don't know if she's fat. I, I don't know. It, that, that shoulder looking a little chunky. I'm going to go ahead and say that she on some, the, the fat spectrum. It's two beautiful, big BBW people just laying together after making beautiful love. And these people on Reddit just want to make fun of me. And it's like, yo, that's crazy. This guy's amazing. But again, like, he can't stand behind anything he does. Like, I, like he posted this image, right? And as soon as he posted the image, like, everyone on Reddit, all the people that follow him, they started becoming detectives. They started becoming individuals that, that, that do a little research. Because, let's be honest, Boogie2988, he's got a gun now. He's got hoes now. Like, he's the ultimate gentleman. Like, he's basically real-life 007. Like, this James Bond plus 300 pounds. And people on Reddit, they start they start asking questions. They start asking questions, right? They say, hey, Boogie, is your GF in her early 20s? Now, one thing is always good to do on the internet is, like, clue in your fan base and clue in people on the internet into everything in your personal life. You should not have any distinction between your normal life and the internet life. It should just be, give me your full name, give me your address, give them all the hoes you bagged. Just give them the info, right? And let's see, what does Boogie say? She's in her 20s. We will talk about that when she's comfortable. Let's give her some space for now. And this is what I love about this guy. This guy is like king of cucks, bro. He high-key said this, not because she cares, not because he cares about like, oh, take it easy. She's a private individual. Don't put it on the internet. It's because he doesn't want to talk about it. He, wasn't, he doesn't want to talk about that he's a 50-year-old man dating a 20-year-old woman, and he's basically taking advantage of someone younger than him, and he's basically, you know, laying down the pipe on these young succubuses, which is fine. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But this guy's like, yeah, you know, let's keep it private. Let's not too much about it. You know, because I'm a pussy, and I don't want to address it. Whoa, 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 wait. Hold on, stop. I just caught myself being a hater. Stop that. Boogie is a pimp. Boogie gets hoes. Boogie got the Mac on him if you want to go ho. So I don't want to boogie. I know he keeps that tool on his waist, that big iron on his hip. I don't want them. But as you can see, someone here is a hater in the comments. He says, then why would you post a picture of the two of you without any clothes visible on the internet? No one asked for you to bring her up. Now you're complaining about her privacy. <laughs> yeah, that's why he low-key had to delete this because he was like, 
uh-oh, what do I do? Do I make a video about this and talk about something that people actually care about? Or do I make some random-ass fucking... He made, like, some random-ass I hate Thanksgiving video, which was fucking hilarious, because, like, we're like, dude, shut the fuck up. No one wants to hear that. Um, but he didn't, so he deleted the post. He got rid of it, and he's been doing a lot of damage control. As you can see here, it's like, hey, Boogie, how old is your GF or female companion? So this was asked one, asked one day ago, and he basically had to, like, fess up and give the info. And then this one was three days ago... Where, like, people were deleting shit, basically saying that, I don't know, he's, like, he knows young bitches or something. I don't know, he's looking on some fucking Aubrey Graham shit. And my boy said, look at Boogie censoring, deleting things. Obviously normal adult behavior. He isn't seething or his. <laughs> Yo, this is supposed to be his fans. His fans are in his subreddit right now, and they're just, like, disrespect him. Although, let's be honest, I actually saw some recently. Where was it? Oh, my God, where is it? Oh, here you go. If you comment positively and positively and stuff, be prepared for haters to PM you. And what does this guy say? So you don't care that a 20-year-old is together with a 50-year-old man? Wow, that's that's hilarious. I love the fact that there's so many people here who hate Boogie, but like this is his quote-unquote, uh, his quote-unquote fucking uh, fan base. Um, so anyway, people on Twitter they started disrespecting him, bro. They started like saying that he's fucking crazy, he's fucking cuckoo for cocoa puffs, and he got upset. He got salty because someone actually called the police and said to go check on this man because he's been acting like a real fucking loony tune. Every night, people on my server are talking about how crazy and erratic I was and how the girlfriend who stayed over last night is make-believe or a prostitute or I, and how they think I'm acting especially erratic on social media lately. And I led somebody to say that they should call in a welfare check. And this is your constant reminder that that's not something you should ever do. By the way, let me just say something. Why is this dude naked right now? Like, why is he naked talking? Did he just get done fucking again? Like, is this guy just a fuck machine? Like, this dude, even when he makes PSAs, like, imagine if this dude was the president. He just goes up on the podium. He's like, yeah, I'm naked right now because I was knee deep in some pussy. But apparently there was some, like, shit that I had to address. So I'm out here now naked. Put a fucking shirt on, bro. Why you walk around naked? Um, so people were like, yo, this guy acting wild. This guy acting crazy. And then what I love is at the end, this dude, like, has the most fucking, like, mong, like, weird reason why you should not call the police on his house. Like, there's a small chance that, you know, something I could say or do would upset the cop. And this kind of thing happens. Cops pull out their weapon and people get hurt. It would possibly injure me, possibly kill me, possibly ruin that cop's life. Don't do, don't do that to a policeman. Don't run the risk of ruining a cop's life. Because you read something on the internet. Why would you do that? Why would you call the police? And why would the police then go there? And then Boogie's going to say something they don't like. Like, he's probably going to open the door, see the cop, immediately jump to one knee, say Black Lives Matter. And the cop, in a racist rage, would just start spraying. He would just be like, yo, Boogie, I know that you're the fucking... You're the rich the kid. You're the guy with the fucking iron on your hip. But I got the tool. I'm the one who got the claw. And he just shoots him in the face. He kills Boogie. And who's to blame? Internet trolls. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? And then, obviously, there's some haters in the comments section that are like, hey, why don't you keep your private life earn private? Stop it, dude. Stop it. Boogie is a literal... That's that's fucking... That's, dis <laughs> that's disrespectful. Um, uh, that's disrespectful. But, uh, you know, this guy's saying, like, keep your private life private. Don't put this on the internet. Yo, if Boogie lays pipe and gets hella hose and he pre keeps that fucking tool on his side yo he should be able to tell the world that i'm a fucking pimp i'm a fucking gangster i put shit out there I i'm out here doing the god's honest work i'm out here doing what the fuck needs to be done like you're the one who's supposed to acknowledge that and respect that like i don't know why people are so upset just because boogie be out here you know just laying game out there i mean honestly this is just an example to let you know that people are haters you know boogie 2988 was at some point a gigantic fat fuck with low self-esteem. Now he's a gigantic fat fuck with low self-esteem that takes pictures of himself candidly uh, going to bed with 20-year-old bitches that are like 30 years younger than him. So, really, you guys are a bunch of haters. Stop hating on Boogie. He's the fucking 007 of the modern age. Stop hating, stop hating, stop hating. Shout out to Boogie. Big ups. Uh, your boy, Boogie298. Uh, he's everything I ever wanted to be. Hopefully I can get there one day. At the end of every single video, make sure you ask people to rate and subscribe to your content. It makes them feel like they're involved even though they're really not. And most importantly, make sure they comment on every single video. If you have to, disguise it. You know, call it something like the question of the day. 
and really make them think you're going to really read it when you really don't have to. Ha ha ha!